Hello and welcome. My name is Carsten Kümmel. I'm a life sound engineer for more than 20 years, specialized on huge and complex crossover shows, most of them with orchestras and choir and band and soloists in the big arenas. Besides that, I'm a professor for public address and live recording at the University of Applied Science in Darmstadt, close to Frankfurt. Today, I want to talk about lateral sound. That means sound which is coming from the side towards the microphone. And I want to talk about the quality of microphones which are able to capture this sound. We all know these frequency diagrams which show a perfect flat line with an increase there and decrease over there and at the end we should convince you about the quality of that microphone and at the end should make you buy it. Um, but be aware, these diagrams, they don't show the quality of the microphone for lateral sound. They only show the quality for sound which is coming on axis. Um, of course, you could think, why is it so important? Normally you sing straight in the microphone, so you always have the zero degrees towards the microphone. Is that really true? Yes, it's true for vocals, lead vocals in general, um, instruments like trumpets, trombones, but the world already looks different when we go to other normal instruments. Let's have a look at uh, some of them. Snare drum. Most of the time, not always, but most of the time, you record a snare drum by pointing the zero degrees towards the middle of the skin of a snare drum. But the middle is not the only point of the snare where the sound is coming from. There's a huge amount of sound coming from the rim, where you have a certain angle towards the membrane. Let's go a little bit further away, overheads from a drum set. If you want to record the whole drum set with two microphones, not only the cymbals, then you have to have a certain distance towards the instrument. And of course, with that drum set, there is so few sound which is coming exactly on axis towards the microphone. Of course, there's a symbol, there's a symbol, there's a, from the symbols, nothing is coming on axis towards the microphone. Grand piano. The further we go inside the grand piano, the bigger is the angle where the sound is coming everywhere from, nearly 180 degrees. All the woodwinds, yeah, yeah, trumpets, trombones, they have one place where the sound is coming from. Totally different with saxophones. Yeah, a huge tenor or a baritone saxophone, the, whole, the sound is coming from the whole instrument. So hardly anything, again, in the zero degree. Choir. I don't have to explain that, I guess. When I work with orchestras, there is hardly a single microphone which records the sound from zero degrees. So you see that the quality of a microphone recording sound from the side is one of my main aspects about the quality of a microphone. And that really that is the point which separates the good ones from the bad ones. Let's have a look at a polar pattern. What do we have here? This diagram shows us a perfect polar pattern of a cardioid microphone. Here it is the Neumann KM184, one of my favorite microphones. While I explain you this polar pattern, you will understand why it is one of my favorite microphones. But first, let's start the explanation. So, we see here multiple angles, like 45 degrees, 90 degrees, and so on and so on, until we have the full cycle of 360. The angles represent the angle of which the sound comes to the microphone. Then we have different lines. 
As described here in the explanation, these lines represent the different frequencies according to the angles of which they come to the microphone. And we have different circles. The circles represent the level loss of a certain frequency depending on the angle. You see that all frequencies from 125 Hz to 16K at a zero angle, so on, on axis, they have a level of 0 dB. And the more that we come from the side, like here on the white line which represents 250, 500 Hz and 1K, the more we come to the side, the more level we lose. And that point exactly 6 dB. Why exactly 6 dB? Because a cardioid microphone works 50% as a nomidirectional and 50% as a figure of 8. As we know, a figure of 8 records no sound when the sound is coming from 270 or from 90 degree. So half of the microphone is missing. And because half of the microphone is missing, we exactly have a loss of 6 dB for sound coming from 270 or 90 degrees. Let's have a look at the other frequencies. Here the 2K, 4K line. You see that we have a little bit a bigger loss, a slightly bigger loss around 7.5 dB for sound coming from 90 degrees. And as well, the 16K is already a level loss about 13 dB. That's normal. The cardioid microphone gets a certain directivity as soon as the frequency rises. And the art of manufacturing good capsules is to keep this this loss as stable as possible. And this is really a very good polar pattern of such a microphone. Um, but let's have a closer look to the 16K. If we go here between the 135 and 180 and or to the 180 uh, degrees line, you'll see that we already get side lobes. The side lobes are caused because the wavelengths getting so so short that we already reach the diameter of the membrane. And that's very typical that as soon as this appears, side lobes can occur. But that's not the only reason for side lobes. And uh, in other microphones, and maybe not the best ones, it can already occur that you have side lobes at 2K, 1K, 4K for sound which is coming in that area between 0 and 90 degrees. And this is really that what separates the good one from the bad one. As I already mentioned, hardly any single sound source in my work is coming from 0 degrees. Most of them are coming from 45, 30, 60, 90 degrees. And I don't want a microphone to have a side lobe with a dips here from the side. And that is why it is so important to have a stable capturing of all frequencies for lateral sound. Thank you very much for your interest and I hope you to see you in the other videos. See you. Bye bye. Don't forget to like and subscribe to see more videos just like this.